now that we've got our pasta dough rolled out, we're going to talk about making tortellini. I love making these because the presentation on them is fantastic. All we need for this one is our simple basil ricotta filling. We've got a ring cutter here and a little bit of water for sealing the edges. To form your tortellini, we're going to start with our ring cutter and we're just going to cut out as many circles as we can from our sheet of dough. I always try to maximize the space by putting these as close together as possible. All right, one more out of this piece of dough. And then we can get rid of our excess dough. Which you can use all of this, cut into little shapes and you can add that to a uh, soup that you would like a little bit of pasta in. But now that we have our little rounds, we're going to pipe some of our filling right in the middle. So I'm doing about one teaspoon of filling in the middle. Always easier to start with a little bit less and you can add more as you get more comfortable with the skill. We're going to go around the outside with a little bit of water to help the edge seal. Push it over the top. Again, I'm pushing from the filling towards the outside. You never want to have air trapped inside your stuffed pasta. We'll just go around the edge just to make sure that our edge is sealed well. Now, I'm going to lay it in my hand. I'm going to use my index fingers to curl one end over. We'll just put a dab of water on the end. Keep my thumb in behind and bring our ends together. Push it against your thumb. And then we can fold the top over a little bit for a little bit of a nicer presentation. If your pasta is nice and moist, you might not need the water on there, but if it feels dry at all, make sure you dab just a little bit on there. There we go, seal our edge. All right, again, I'm going to push with my index finger a little bit onto my thumb, moisten the end, and then we push our ends together. And fold the top over. And there we go. We've got our tortellini. You can transfer those onto a floured board, and then you're ready to cook, or you can freeze them from that point as well. If you have any more questions, give us a call or visit the website.